Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? It's math class, and today our lesson will be about time to five minutes intervals. Everyone, in the previous lessons, we have talked about time to the hour, time to the half hour, time to the quarter hour. And today we are going to talk about time to 5 minutes intervals. Yesterday we have started the lesson, right? And today we are going to continue. It's part 2. So, before explaining the lesson, I want my smart students to read the day and date. Who's going to read it today? Who's going to read the day and date? Me. So everyone, I want you to look over here. Try to read it. My lovely students. So what's the day? The day is Monday. And the date is? May 18, 2020. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will Skip count by fives to tell the time and we have learned yesterday how to do this. Do you remember how did we use the analog clock and we counted by fives? Yes. To move from number to number and here I'm talking about the minutes, okay? Minutes. Mental math time. So every time Miss Mona says to you, you need to take your time to think carefully to avoid any mistake. Right, everyone? So let's read the question over here. Circle the smallest number. Look at these numbers and circle the smallest one. 10, 13, 8. Where's the smallest one? 8. Well done. Now circle the biggest number. Is it 18, 9 or 15? 18. Great. Correct. And here we go. Write the time. Skip count by 5 starting from 40. Then draw hands on the analog clock to represent 6 hours and the given number of minutes for each number. Here's the analog clock everyone and the analog clock will help us to remember how to skip counting or to skip count sorry by five. So look everyone, look over here. So look at the long one, the long one which is the minute hand is pointing to number eight and it means here 40 minutes, 40 minutes and then you continue counting 40, 45, 50, 55. So it's gonna stop here so I want you to skip count by fives to find the answers okay and here are two videos about time to five minutes interval so watch the videos and come back one of them with a song so enjoy the song everyone so here we go problem of the day so let's read the question together if the hour hand is close to the 11 and the minute hand is pointing to the 10, what time is that? So everyone look at the analog clock. I'm going to give you some time. Okay, I need your help to read the time. My little students, look at the analog clock and try to read the time. See, the short hand is going to 11 but it's not 11 yet it's not yet 11 it doesn't reach number 11 so it's coming from 10 so it's 10 o'clock right now look at now I want you to look at the long one the minute okay we're reading the minutes not the the hours so if you look over here is the long hand Okay, as you can see, the long hand here points to number 10, right? And it means 15 minutes. So the time is 10.50. 50. 
Okay, everyone, now I want you to get your math book because we are going to use it. Don't forget to grab some pencils. Please open page 621, write the day and date. Okay, so everyone, let's go to question number five. We're going to read the time together, everyone. So as you can see, there's an analog clock and a digital clock below. So there are five steps to follow when we read the time. First of all, we're going to look at the shorthand because as you, uh, let's say, get to know that there are two hands, one of them short and one of them long. The short one is for the hours and the long one is for the minutes. Right? So I want to come to know that. So first of all, we're going to look at the short one. And as you can see, the short one is in between, okay, number three and four. So in this case, what we are going to do, you can notice that the, the shorthand is coming from number three, but it's not four yet. It's not four yet. So look, look carefully at the short one and you can, uh, you can see this. So we're going to write the hour is three. Now we're going to move to the minute. Okay, we're going to move to the minute. Okay, let me write the number again. So it's, it's three, right? Okay, now everyone, let's go to the minute hand. And as you can see that, let's move to the big analog clock. On the side okay so the short one the long one sorry points to 10 and if we look at the analog clock we can say number 10 shows 50 minutes so the time will be 350 this is the first one okay and here we go question number six so let's follow the steps and let's do the things that we usually you know follow when we read the time so first of all we're going to look at the short one the short one is uh moving a little bit far from number six right but for sure it's not seven yet so what we're going to say that the time is six okay so we're going to write six and then we're going to look at the long one and as you can see the long one points to number three, right? So look at the analog clock, find number three, and then read the minutes. So how many minutes do you see? 15, so we're gonna write 15 minutes. So the time is six, okay? And six, as you can see, the hour is six, and the minute is 15. Now we will move to number seven, okay? So, and by the way, before moving to number seven, remember, uh, number six is, um, when I say 15, it means quarter, right? Do you remember when we talked about the quarter? So time to the quarter hour. So it's crystal clear that here the Quarter is clear and you can see it. Okay, now question number seven. Look at the short one first. I'm gonna give you some time. So the short one is coming from two o'clock, but it's not three yet. Still, 15 minutes more and it will be three o'clock. So the time is two. Okay, everyone, it's two. Okay, let me write it again. The time is two. Okay, and let's go to the, or let's read the minutes now. So look at the big analog clock. The analog clock here will help you to read the minutes 
properly. So here it points to number 9. So if we look over there, we can see that it's 45 minutes. So what we're going to do is to write 45. Okay, everyone. So let's check our answers. Wow, our answers are correct. Now, everyone, let's move to question number 8, 9, and 10. What you are going to do is to look at or read the analog clock and then sorry read the digital clock and then draw the uh or draw the hands okay i want you to try to do this by yourself and then come back and check your answers if it's correct or not okay i'm gonna keep the answers over here just don't don't look at the answers look at your book try to do it by yourself and then you can come back and check your answers and finally everyone i want you to look at these analog clocks and read the question a train leaves at 10 40. which clock shows 10 40. wow this is a super easy question okay so what you're going to do is to look first at the uh let's say the short hand at the short hand points to number 10 so as you can see it's over here right and then all of them are pointing to number 10 all of the clocks no this is pointing to number 9 and here also number 9 so this is not the one let's look over here we have two analog clocks this is okay and this is also okay but, but, but which one is uh, the correct one everyone well, what do you think about it the first or the second one who can tell me yes okay I'm gonna keep it for you because I helped you and I did um half of the question and now i want you to do it by yourself so have a good day bye everyone and see you tomorrow i love you